it's Monday after Christmas, the Monday before, uh, the Monday before New Year's Eve. So by the time this video goes out, it'll be after the first of the year. But I want to go ahead and wish everybody a happy new year. I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas. I hope they got to spend a lot of time with their families. We're going to go ahead and get this kicked off with another random Nautica video. About to hop in the car. I'm by myself again today. So this is where it brought us. And I don't see anything out here. Except for those. So this is the very back side of Lake Wolchel. And this lake was actually created by the Board of Public Works. But there's nothing else interesting here, so let's hit the app and see where else it takes us. We're out here at the final location that it brought us to, or the final location I'm, that I'm going to do for the day. But it's getting late, it's getting dark, and we're almost here, so... I know you probably can't see me too well, but it's way too dark out, especially with me being out here by myself. Uh, the last spot I went to, I found a hog, and there was also somebody there that I was talking to. He was telling me about a dam that was pretty close that you can actually get to and take pictures, and I was trying to get to it. But it's, it's too dark. I'm going to wait and go back tomorrow or uh, Wednesday. I'm sorry I left off the video yesterday the way I did. Uh, it started getting dark and I had somebody bringing me down to an area that I wasn't familiar with. So I decided to call it quits and just go home. But, oh, this is awesome. I came back today to the spot that I was told about and it, it is actually pretty awesome down here. So this isn't a spot that Rainanaka brought me. Yesterday I left off at the bridge where I found the hog and that was actually a spot that Rainanaka brought me. While I was there, I met a gentleman that told me about this spot. So I wanted to come down here and have a look. And from what I'm seeing so far, it was definitely worth the trip down here. The only issue is, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get back up out of here. There's some big ruts. I was able to avoid them coming down. Remind you, I'm in a Mitsubishi Lancer, you know, front wheel drive car, but I'm going to get over here and show you all the scenery, and I hope you enjoy it. There's the dam right there. I'm going to see if, oh man, that looks pretty wet, muddy. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to cross that without boots on, but I should be able to cross that, get up over under there, and make my way over. So let's try it. Oh, not bad, not bad. Ah, not 
bad at all. Look at this nice sand. Ah, oh, that's awesome. guys I'm gonna get a few photos and then try to make my way back out of here I'm gonna come down with my cousin sometime and explore this area Yeah, I like this down here. I've always wanted to get close to the dams, but a lot of the dams are difficult to get close to on the Broad River here in South Carolina. A lot of them are on private access roads or owned by Duke Energy and stuff like that. That's cool though, look at the colors. I'm not sure how old this dam is, but looking at it, I'd say it's been here for a minute. So I'm going to try to make it out of here, so <laughs> wish me luck on that one. But as always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, knowledge is power. Never limit yourself. Stay safe and keep exploring. I'll see you next week next Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.